Welcome everyone to the fifth, I got yesterday's wrong and called it the third, sorry about that, the fifth Halls of Injustice. I should now state, this is not a regular more than once a week thing, but I realised when scrolling through a private little thing I have, that this article was sat there and I hadn't got round to it, and it bugged me to no end because it was actually something worthy of this. I think the reason why I hadn't featured it was because at that time, when this was released, I had yet to decide whether to start The Halls of Injustice as a regular series. Well, here we are, three weeks later. Although, I'll be honest, since this particular person has been sentenced, we can discuss that. So, the job and role of any parent is to ensure that their child lives a better life than they lived. I've been told this by my sisters, all of whom are parents, and all of whom put themselves out for their children on a regular basis. Hopefully when your children grow up, they understand that. It is a remarkable thing to see how far some parents go for those they love. Keep that in mind, because it is going to be relevant later on. A parent is supposed to be the one that kicks down the door to the doctors when you're being held up. They are the person that would lay their own life on the line to save you, or sacrifice themselves even. Because, and to quote Theoden, no parent should have to bury their child. Granted, there are some that do, we're not going to talk about them. I'm focusing on a particular case with one very sick individual. For this, well, I already have her on the screen and have had her there since the start of the video, we need Tiffany Alberts. Who is Tiffany Alberts, you ask? A very bad person who has been put through the ringer herself, but somehow come to a decision that is reckless and has cost her, and will cost her, seven years in prison, along with five on probation. So what did she do? Well, okay, this is tricky. You see, Tiffany Alberts has a son. To be clear, she is not a single parent by choice as she lost her husband in 2016. Very sorry for your loss. But she does have a son who has a mild form of autism and was, in July of last year, diagnosed with a form of leukemia. Quite hard and harrowing and unfortunate, I will concede. To tackle the leukemia, her son went through cancer treatment, but had to go back to hospital because of bacterial infections that were at the time unknown. In fact, it got so bad that his cancer treatment was postponed by two months which is not ideal for anyone, least of all somebody who doesn't even have a fighting chance without the treatment. Doctors proceeded to conduct a whole plethora of extensive evaluations on the team and determined that there was no medical reason to explain the ongoing blood infection, which would include bacterial infections and the quite rightly justified and dreaded sepsis. I've heard of far too many people over the winter now getting sepsis, and it actually scares me. So how does Tiffany Alberts feature into this that leads to her getting a seven-year sentence and five on probation? Well, surveillance video footage showed her injecting something into his treatment, into the IV bags. She had said that it was water, because he was dehydrated and IV bag totally wouldn't help. He couldn't reach for a beaker. However... After a few questions were asked of by doctors and the police, they discovered that it wasn't water at all, and it was confirmed by doctors and forensics to be consistent with feces. Right. Okay, so we have that. The big moment. You've got it. She was injecting feces into an IV bag. Let's hear the wizard excuse now, shall we? Uh, well, her intention was to inject fecal matter several times into his IV bag in a bid to get him moved to a different unit at the hospital where she thought he would receive better medical treatment, forgetting what feces is and how it could in fact not only push back his treatment for leukemia but actually hurt him in the long run. The cancer wouldn't have a chance to end his life, the sepsis would. It is a reckless display born out of ignorance from somebody who just didn't understand that she was attempting to kill her child unintentionally. Understandably, because of all that, his chances of survival were lowered. It has been reported, though, that his health has since improved since the injections of fecal matter have ceased. Originally, the Marion County Prosecutor's Office 
charged her with attempted murder, but she was found not guilty. So what are the current charges that she faced? Well, she was charged and convicted on six counts of aggravated battery for injecting the 15-year-old boy's IV with fecal matter while he was undergoing treatment for cancer. Congratulations, Tiffany Alberts, you have done some quality parent. One of my major concerns with the Alberts family as a whole is that this isn't the first time a child has suffered. I'm just surprised that the daughter who had follicular and nexal carcinoma was not affected by this reckless display of parenting. I should point out that particular child is doing well. And going forward, one has to now be concerned where they go while they wait for their mother and how the relationship with their mother will proceed and progress. Because teenage boys lose their father. Hmm. If they weren't close before, they're certainly not going to be now. And seven years. That's interesting. I would say, because I'm a reasonable person for the most part, it was not attempted murder. It was a reckless action. A completely ignorant action. One that is pathetic. You wanted to push your son up the line, but instead you moved him further back. Because instead of going further down the oncology line, he had to go somewhere else. While essentially House MD tried to work out how on earth he got sepsis. I will say as a final thing that while the boy's leukemia is in remission, the doctors themselves have said they do believe there's a chance they may have missed the window to keep it in remission. Because of this waste of time and resources on injected fecal matter, where did you get it from? Please don't tell me you stood over a piece of newspaper, curled one out, and then went, oh whoa, a syringe. What should I do here? I know, I'm going to save my son. You absolute muppet. You belong in the halls of justice. Seven years? Yeah, I'll be honest with you, that sentence doesn't matter so much. The actual punishment is that your son and your daughter are old enough to know what you did. And while empathising with the idea of trying to save a child, your child no less, they are going to hate you. That is a fate worse than any ISO. Especially when you're too old to look after yourself. They're not going to stick you in a care home, are they? They're going to give you a cardboard box and a syringe with feces and say have fun. As with all these cases, I'm very much interested to know what you think. So please do let me know in the comments below. As a final thing, there's a new video on Moisky Live and I'll be streaming a PMQ response at 9.30pm GMT. Before that, I don't know when though because I'm busy, to I will be streaming on Twitch. All linked down below. Also, to C Knight's Craft who made this pillow and sent it to me with this skulled tentacle thingy majiggy, thank you. To everyone else, I hope you'll have a fantastic Wednesday and thank you all for listening.